Welcome to Amateur Money, the go-to channel for all things personal finance. If you're looking to learn about insurance, what it is, why you need it, and the different types available, then you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll break down the basics of insurance and explain why it's an important part of your financial planning. We'll also dive into the different types of insurance you should consider and what they cover. So, sit back, relax, and let's get started. And if you want even more tips and advice to help you manage your money and build wealth, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We're dedicated to providing you with the best information and strategies to help you achieve financial freedom. Thanks for tuning in to Amateur Money. Insurance is a legal contract between you and an insurance company that helps protect you financially in case something unexpected happens. Essentially, you pay a premium to the insurance company, and in exchange, they provide you with coverage for specific types of events or risks. This means that if the event occurs, the insurance company will cover some or all of the expenses related to the event, depending on the terms of the policy. Insurance is an important part of financial planning because it helps protect you from financial losses that could otherwise be devastating. Without insurance, you could be responsible for paying all of the expenses related to an unexpected event, which could quickly drain your savings or put you in debt. There are several types of insurance that you should consider, including 1. Health insurance. This type of insurance helps cover the cost of medical care, including doctor visits, hospital stays, and prescription drugs. Health insurance is essential to protect yourself and your family from expensive medical bills. In some countries like the United States, not having health insurance can result in significant financial burden and even bankruptcy due to high medical costs. There are different types of health insurance plans, including HMOs, health maintenance organizations. These plans typically require you to choose a primary care physician who coordinates your care and refers you to specialists when needed. PPOs, preferred provider organizations. These plans offer more flexibility in choosing health care providers, but may require you to pay more out of pocket if you go out of network. POS, point of service, plans. These plans are a hybrid of HMOs and PPOs, and typically require you to choose a primary care physician but allow you to see specialists outside of the network with a referral. HDHPs, High Deductible Health Plans These plans have lower monthly premiums but higher deductibles, meaning you'll have to pay more out of pocket before your insurance coverage kicks in. HDHPs are often paired with health savings accounts, HSAs which allow you to save money on a tax-free basis to pay for medical expenses. It's important to carefully review the terms of each health insurance plan to make sure you understand what is and isn't covered, as well as any deductibles, copays, or coinsurance you may be responsible for. Some employers offer health insurance as a benefit, while others may require you to purchase insurance on your own. Additionally, government programs such as Medicaid and Medicare provide health insurance to certain eligible individuals. Two. Auto insurance. Auto insurance is a type of insurance that provides coverage for damage or injury caused by a car accident. In most states, it's mandatory to have auto insurance if you own a car. There are different types of auto insurance, including liability coverage. This type of coverage is required by law and covers damages and injuries to others in case of an accident caused by the policyholder. Liability coverage typically includes two types of coverage bodily injury liability coverage, which covers medical expenses and lost wages for the other party if they're injured in the accident, and property damage liability coverage, which covers damage to the other party's property. Collision coverage. This type of coverage helps pay for damages to the policyholder's vehicle caused by a collision with another vehicle or object. Collision coverage is optional, but may be required by a lender if you have a car loan. Comprehensive coverage. This type of coverage helps cover damages to the policyholder's vehicle caused by events such as theft, vandalism, or natural disasters. Comprehensive coverage is also optional, but may be required by a lender if you have a car loan. Personal Injury Protection PIP. This type of coverage helps cover medical expenses and lost wages for you and your passengers if you're injured in a car accident, regardless of who is at fault. Uninsured, underinsured motorist coverage. This type of coverage helps cover damages and injuries caused by a driver who doesn't have enough insurance to cover the damages or no insurance at all. The cost of auto insurance can vary depending on factors such as your driving record, the type of car you drive, and the coverage amounts you choose. 
It's important to shop around and compare rates from different insurance companies to find the best policy for your needs and budget. 3. Homeowners or Renters Insurance Homeowners insurance is a type of insurance that provides coverage for your home and personal belongings in case of damage or theft. It covers damages caused by events such as fire, lightning, or windstorms. Homeowners insurance may also provide liability coverage in case someone gets injured on your property. If you're renting, you can get renter's insurance to cover your personal belongings. Renter's insurance also provides liability coverage in case someone gets injured while visiting you. There are different types of coverage under homeowners or renter's insurance, including Dwelling coverage This type of coverage helps cover the cost of repairing or rebuilding your home if it's damaged by a covered event, such as a fire or a windstorm. Personal property coverage This type of coverage helps cover the cost of replacing your personal belongings, such as furniture, clothing, and electronics, if they're stolen or damaged by a covered event. Liability coverage this type of coverage helps cover legal fees and damages if someone gets injured on your property and sues you for damages. Additional Living Expenses Coverage This type of coverage helps cover the cost of temporary living expenses, such as hotel bills and meals, if you're unable to live in your home due to a covered event. The cost of homeowners or renters insurance can vary depending on factors such as the location of your home, the age of your home, and the amount of coverage you need. It's important to carefully review the terms of each policy to make sure you understand what is and isn't covered, as well as any deductibles or exclusions. Some homeowners or renters insurance policies may also offer optional add-ons, such as flood insurance or earthquake insurance, that provide additional coverage for specific types of events. Life insurance. Life insurance is a type of insurance that provides financial protection to your family in case you pass away. It can help cover expenses such as funeral costs, outstanding debts, and living expenses. There are two main types of life insurance. Term life insurance. This type of life insurance provides coverage for a specific period, such as 10, 20, or 30 years. If you pass away during the term of the policy, your beneficiaries will receive a lump sum payment from the insurance company. Term life insurance is typically less expensive than whole life insurance. Whole life insurance. This type of life insurance provides coverage for the policyholder's entire life. In addition to the death benefit, whole life insurance policies also have a cash value component that grows over time. Policyholders can borrow against the cash value or withdraw it tax-free, but doing so may reduce the death benefit or even cancel the policy. When deciding whether to purchase life insurance, it's important to consider factors such as your age, health, and financial situation. If you have dependents who rely on your income, Life insurance can provide peace of mind and financial protection in case of your unexpected death. The amount of life insurance coverage you need will depend on factors such as your income, debts, and other expenses. It's important to carefully review the terms of each life insurance policy to make sure you understand what is and isn't covered, as well as any exclusions or limitations. Some life insurance policies may also offer optional add-ons, such as riders that provide additional coverage for specific events or circumstances. 5. Disability Insurance Disability insurance is a type of insurance that provides financial protection if you become disabled and can no longer work. It can help cover your living expenses and provide financial stability during a difficult time. There are two types of disability insurance. Short-term disability insurance. This type of disability insurance provides coverage for a few weeks or months, typically up to six months. Short-term disability insurance may provide a portion of your income during the period you're unable to work due to a covered disability. Long-term disability insurance. This type of disability insurance provides coverage for a longer period, typically up to several years or until retirement age. Long-term disability insurance may provide a portion of your income during the period you're unable to work due to a covered disability. When deciding whether to purchase disability insurance, it's important to consider factors such as your income, savings, and job stability. If you rely on your income to cover your living expenses, disability insurance can provide financial protection in case you become unable to work due to a covered disability. It's important to carefully review the terms of each disability insurance policy to make sure you understand what is and isn't covered, as well as any exclusions or limitations. Some disability insurance policies may also offer optional add-ons, such as riders that provide additional coverage for specific events or circumstances. 
Additionally, some employers may offer disability insurance as a benefit, while others may require you to purchase insurance on your own. Thank you for watching Amateur Money, where we strive to bring you valuable information and insights on personal finance. We hope that this video has helped you better understand the different types of insurance and why they are important for your financial well-being. Remember, insurance is an essential part of your financial planning, and it can protect you and your family from unexpected financial hardships. So, take the time to carefully review the different types of insurance available to you and choose the ones that best fit your needs. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more personal finance tips and advice. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks again for watching Amateur Money, and remember to always make informed financial decisions that can help secure your financial future.